Well, one of the first things that magicians they want to know, usually, is how to control cards. And, uh, well, I mean not any card, but the aces. So the problem is how, starting from any card, how is it possible to cut the deck and to get one of the aces? But it can be done. Uh, well, now I've been using the deck face down, but uh, maybe I can explain myself better if I keep the deck face up. Just a matter of cutting the deck anywhere, and you easily get one of the aces. So red, red, the black one, and uh, well, it's no longer a surprise now, you know. It doesn't matter where I stop. Wherever I stop, I get one of the aces. So one, uh, well, uh, this, this looks like a mistake. Um, it is a mistake unless you do something like that and actually you get the card you need. To be fair, there is actually a reason because of which magicians they want to learn how to control cards like so and is that when you are able to do that, the next thing you learn usually is how to make money. And this is something quite interesting. You know, these are American half silver half dollars, that's one, two, three, and four half dollars. And there is something peculiar with these four coins, and is that in this way, the first coin just goes across. So I can try that again if you wish. I mean, uh, they look all the same. Actually, they are not. This is the running coin, this. This is the jumping coin. It just jumps across. Well, of course, now you know what it is going to happen, so I will do that again just in a slightly different manner. I mean, I will take the first coin, I will add the second one, and anyway, they both go across. Okay, so far, so well. And, uh, well, there is also something interesting I want to tell you about the Alps dollars, and is that uh, these coins, actually, they are worth money. And uh, this is the most interesting part of the routine, usually. But there is also something else I want to tell you about uh, these coins. At the very beginning, I told you these coins are made by silver. And uh, there is a way to check if these were real silver. I mean, uh, if it were real silver and I put it them in my fist and I squeeze them, they melt in a coin that is bigger but always silver. And this is quite interesting. Also interesting that if you manage them correctly, you can break them to get the original two coins. Well, I think I told you everything I know about coins uh, so far. And uh, uh, actually, it's important the way you, you, deal, you, you, you deal with the coins, you handle them is that if I have one coin and I put in my hand and I squeeze it, it vanishes completely. So it's not so difficult to make one coin vanish. You just leave it there, you squeeze the hand and the coin vanishes. Uh, well, uh, it looks like a mistake, but it's not a mistake. I just forget, forgot one thing and it is this one. It looks like a pen but can be used as a magic wand. I mean, if I just leave the coin in the end and I touch the coin with the pen, the coin vanishes. And every time I leave the coin there and I touch with the pen, the coin vanishes. So uh, the point could be now how to make a coin trick without coins unless you could get the first, the second, and the third one back again. But at the beginning, I, I told you something to be done with uh, cards and coins, at four cards and one, two, three, wait a moment, and uh, in this way, four coins, much better. I need four coins because I must put them in a square and four cards to cover the coins. So I've not shown you the cards again, but you remember they are the aces. Furthermore, it's not so important the value of the cards. What it is important is that each card cover one of the coins. And uh, in this way, one coin moves. So I can try that again. I mean, uh, I just leave there, 
from there like so and in that way the coins they move. Now the last one, of course you know what it is going to happen, I mean you know that these coins must leave its spot to join to the other, so I will do that just in a slightly different manner, I mean I just keep them under the cards, all right, very good, and the last one, in a different way, I just uh, let the coin drop, it drops, and of course, the four coins all took, wait a moment, well, it's not the first time I've done this, and it never works. <laughs>